Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. And today is another little tip that I actually got from a subscriber. Uh, it does have a combination of what I know many people do, but then it also has something a little bit extra. So many people will have what they call a trash pot when diamond painting. So they're in with their storage or separate, one or the other. They will have a little pot of some sort that they use to throw diamonds in that are not fit for the canvas. So they might have a bubble, they might be a little bit misshapen, but you don't want them on your diamond painting canvas. And they'll have a little trash pot in their storage which I've seen people do. Some people, you know, will just put them straight into a bin if that's maybe where they sit. Um, bin, trash, same sort of thing. Bin, garbage, that's it. I'm trying to think what word the Americans use for bin. Um, so basically like a, an X. These are diamonds that you don't want to use. They're not fit for purpose. Ooh. Um, they're not fit for purpose and they can sit in there. Sometimes people like to know how many bad drills they've got in a kit. You know, if this gets quite full, they're not happy with the quality that's come from that supplier maybe. Some people just like to collect them up because why not? You know, they may as well sit there rather than anywhere else. So one tip is to have a trash or a bin pot. But this is the extra little added bit that a subscriber suggested to me, is provided their storage will allow them, or if you've got a, a setup that you can have on your desk that allow these to be permanent, is she has a second pot, and that is the mystery pot. Now, anybody that has been diamond painting for a while knows those little drills, they can get anywhere. Yeah, they can appear on legs, in bras, under arms, on, <laughs> on the side of your hand. You can get up from your chair and there's diamonds there and you're like, how did they get there? They can end up anywhere. And what she does is any diamonds that are sort of found floating, you know, when she's finished diamond painting for the day or she just happens to find them, you know, Maybe when you're diamond painting, you drop one and don't realise any of those. She puts them into the mystery pot. Now, this comes into its own if you do end up running out of any colours. So if anything happens where, you know, a supplier's not actually sent you enough, then she's got her mystery pot to see if she has any more of that colour available. Um just to finish possibly that last little bit. We all have those rogue diamonds. I know I tended to just get rid of them and throw them, but this is a good idea, is to have a second pot that is just mystery. So you don't know what number it is, but you know it's probably come from that painting because you, that's what you're currently working on. And if you do ever find that you have become short of a diamond painting, then you can go to your mystery pot and see if you have a colour match. And you never know, it may give you that extra few diamonds that you need, um, especially if rogue diamonds appear in your life quite often. I know mine do. I often find them all the time on the couch. Because um, I, I work on an easel, sometimes I will sort of, if one gets dropped, it does end up on the couch and I, I'm not gonna try and find where that little diamond went, but it often appears when I get up at the end of the day um, and a mystery pot would be very handy for me with quite a few of my diamond paintings. So hopefully that will help some of you, but thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.